Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Shirley again, and I'm talking today about isolation. Um, I isolate a lot. I spend a majority of my time by myself, and I don't feel uncomfortable. I don't get lonely. I don't, <laughs> I mean, really, I like to be alone. Uh, you know, so, and I found a quote from uh, Pete Walker about uh, the freeze response. Now, there's fight, flight, freeze, and fawn, and I won't go into all four of them. But the freeze response, it makes sense. When you're a help, helpless child and you're being attacked by an adult, you, ha you have four choices. You can flee, you can fight, you can fawn, or you can do it like I did, freeze. And that means you freeze up. You don't say anything, do anything to rock the boat because... You know, they, you know, it'll just make it worse and it'll get over faster if you hold still. So, um, in the, in the manner of that though, as I've grown up, the freeze response has changed. It's changed in the matter of, I have become an isolationist. I like to stay alone. Now that's not good for me. It's not good for any of us who are social animals and we need other people. But let me read you a quote. I've got it here on my computer from Pete Walker. It says, many freeze types unconsciously believe that people and danger are synonymous and that safety lies in solitude. Outside of fantasy, many give up entirely on the possibility of love. That's me. The freeze response, also known as the camouflage response, often triggers the individual into hiding, isolating, and eschewing human contact as much as possible. And that's me. <laughs> I'm not proud of that fact, and I don't know how to change it, unfortunately. Uh, but if you have any ideas, I'd appreciate it. If you sit, put them in the comments below. But I, the freeze response, you know, I have given up on looking for love. Um, intimacy terrifies me. And I guess it's understandable why it would, but I've gone through 30 years of therapy. Surely by now... I can get through that and work my way through that and uh, have an re intimate relationship with someone. Um, but I, I, it terrifies me, the idea. Uh, I've been in the relationship one, one time before, got married while dissociated, unfortunately. And it didn't work out. Um, I was very unhappy while I was married. I uh, didn't want to be married. I wanted to be alone. I wanted to be by myself. I got my wish most of the time because my husband was a truck driver. But then he got sick and had to come off the truck and, and stayed home 24-7. Oh, my. Did that ever bother me? I mean, I, I, I need my space. I need my solitude. I wish I could find a way to break that. If any of you have ideas, please let me know. Because I really don't know. I mean, I, I make myself go out and um, and socialize with people. I make myself. But I don't stay very long. And if I make a friend, I tell them from the beginning, I'm not a good friend. Because I, I'll just one day stop showing up. Stop being there for you. I will care for you. But as far as showing up, that's different. Um... It's a terrible thing to have to say about myself, but I'm not a good friend. And uh, I'm a risk to other people because of that. And I, that's another reason I freeze. I guess I, I stay by myself. I isolate. Um, anyway, isolation seems to be a part of some of us anyway. For with DID, we want to isolate away from people to protect ourselves. And that's just not necessary. Sure, there are bad relationships out there, and you can get in one really quick. But there are also, like my like my therapist one time told me, she says, "Surely you're going to find out that most of us are pretty nice people." And I'm finding that true. I just wish I could break the isolation. So anyway, that's my talk today about me. <laughs> it's been about a lot about me, but I just wanted you. And that's the only way I can come across to you and say. You know, I understand. I really do understand. I mean, the th symptoms you're having with DID, the, the panic attacks and the, 
and the anxiety and, 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 and the depression and all the other little goodies that come along with DID. And I, I, I understand. I've been there. Okay. Well, if you like this channel, please like and follow below. And give me, I'll put my email address and the link to my blog in the description below. And I hope to see you again next week. Okay, bye-bye.